Hi, this is Mabel's Tables, and I am in downtown Birmingham, Alabama, and I am walking a small trail that the children of Birmingham, Alabama followed when they were doing the Freedom March. Pretty soon, we would get around a corner where you would see two monuments set up for the children of Birmingham, Alabama. And um, I was told to come here because on one of the monuments or posters they got out here, that one of the children on the poster looked like myself when I was a teenager. So we're gonna turn this corner and go down here and uh, check this out. This is downtown Birmingham, Alabama, and this is Mabel's Tables, and I am in search of myself on the Freedom Walk that the children did in Birmingham, Alabama in 1963, and I think we're coming up on it now, and they said to have a picture of the children in that I am in one of the pictures and I just wanted to videotape it and to see what it said. And here's the first one. It says, the children of Birmingham made an impact on the world. George Hunter, student foot soldier. And there's an ambulance. And I didn't cut them out of the video, but this is part of Birmingham. So it says here, George Hunter, student foot soldier, there. And we're gonna go around because I see that the picture is two-sided. Arrested at City Hall, it says about two dozen child protesters get past police barricades, dogs, and hoses to make it to City Hall while Bull Connor stumbles upon them as he leaves his City Hall office. He orders their arrest, telling police officers to take them to a holding area in City Hall's basement until school buses come to take them to jail. To stop the steady flow of surprise protesters, Connor also orders police to arrest any black person near City Hall. And this is the picture. Can you see where I am in this picture? Yes, I see myself and I'm just amazed. This is what the young people did to for their freedom in Birmingham, Alabama. Bama. And we're going to move on to the next picture, and it is here. March route to government. Arrested at City Hall. It says, child protesters overwhelmed police who found it hard to confine them to the Kelly Ingram Park. Organizers used clever methods to get them to City Hall before police could stop them. Children were sent out in pairs. When they got closer to City Hall, they formed small groups, pulled out hidden protest signs, kneeled, and prayed. As more school children were arrested during the May protest, police ran out of space at the jails. Some of the children were detained right here at City Hall. Others were put in open air stockyards built for animals at the Alabama State Fairgrounds. And I do remember that because they tried to feed us Jim Dandy food and Jim Dandy dog food. And I, as to this day, will not buy any 
known Jim Dandy products. This is Mabel's Table saying thank you for taking this short walk with me. And I hope that you have enjoyed what I have presented to you. Ambulance, fire trucks, and all. Mabel's Table said, don't forget to pray for someone else besides yourself. And God is still alive and well. And he kept me through all kind of adversity. And this is Mabel's Table saying, adieu.